Okay, should I open my coat? Now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be like Dan Rather on YouTube. Mike, help me with my coat. <laughs> Can you help me? What do you think? Uh, open or it's kind of cold, so maybe we should close it. Wait, what do you think, Mike? Collar up, collar down. Yeah, yeah. I think this looks good. I think this looks good. This looks more anchor womanish, don't you think? Okay, sorry. I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Come on, it would have been funny. Jeez, don't you think he deserves a little payback? <laughs> All right, this tart is ready to go. <laughs> the lighting's a little scary on me, you guys. Well, not because you guys didn't do a masterful job, but just because I. No, it's the bottom one. Oh. Oh, it is? Oh, oh, that looks nice. How come that's so much softer than this? This looks like I'm ready this for the nursing home. Uh, this is the uh, $200 uh, oh. That's a real one. oh, well, let's hope America doesn't watch $200 TVs or I'm screwed. All right, can I ask you a question? Why are you moving around so much when you're shooting me today? When? You drive me crazy. When you were shooting the interview, yeah. and then when you're shooting the songwriter, you're like moving all around, looking at your thing, checking it out. I was like, dude, you're distracting me. I have to make sure that you look perfect. There's a lot of different angles to look at you from. I gotta make sure they're all perfect. No, I'm serious. Moving the camera around, I'm like, bro, what up? Well, why don't you just start on a damn single or pull out? Yeah, so well, didn't you like practice that before you started? No. You want to match I mean, you want to Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? This is great. We have to get back. <laughs> How funny was that? I was reenacting the Dan Rather YouTube thing. And they were talking about it. <laughs> they were like, close the mic, close the mic, because we're not doing the Dan Rather should I wear a scarf thing. We're not doing that with Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. But I, he did it for a half hour. I know. I know. Well, no, I mean, like, I yeah. wasn't going to do that. Whoa. Oh, my God. We need to down with cheap monitors. They're so scary. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, it's okay. Honestly, you guys, it's okay. I'm not that vain. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> this thing? I know. What should I do? I just got this dry cleaned. I don't know what happened. Do you want me to unbutton it? That look weird. See, I think the problem is that the button doesn't go all the way through. It's like a covered button. So, let me see. You don't. You know what I could do is how about like that, and then you see it less. Is that all right? Okay. Thank you. He's my stylist, Eric. <laughs> He's my Stephen Kojikaru. How's that? You know what I mean? That way it's not buttoned, but it's just... Yeah. I think it's the pinch. Yeah. How much time to the show? I should have brought my Uggs, you know? That would have been good, right? Next time. Next time we're in Nashville. Are you kidding me? What kind of executive producer leaves at the end of the first block? Because... Oh, my God. Are you kidding? No, I'm just laying a little Jewish guilt on you, bro. Yes. Okay. What am I doing? I'm sorry. This button thing is driving me nuts now. Okay, y'all just... Don't worry. 
I know you are deeply concerned, but don't be. Hey, Eric, just because you're my fashion consultant, I just want you to see my groovy look. Mark, can you pan down, please? Hot, huh? We decided I should have brought my Uggs. Wouldn't that have been smart? Can't we talk a little more about my wardrobe, Eric? Are you busy or something? <laughs> he knows what Uggs are. He's hip. <laughs>